Hi everyone, outside here on a rainy day here in Southern California, I dashed out in between the rainfall because so I wanted to do a little video on some squash and cucumber seedlings that I have growing inside and not quite ready to get planted outdoors and a few little simple tips to help keep them healthy and strong until it's ready to go outdoors. But just want to pick a few things from the garden grocery store and encourage you guys. In today's world of coronavirus, when a lot of us are staying home, might feel fearful and anxious, I want to bring you guys some hope. A lot of times when we're fearful, we tend to get paralyzed, but there is something you can do while you're staying at home, if your kids are off school, why not plant something, grow a delicious garden grocery store of your own. You'll feel good being outside. You'll feel good knowing you're growing your own healthy food for your family. You can get your kids involved. So get yourself some things planted like lettuce, microgreens, even beans. And I'll be doing some more videos on that over the coming weeks. It's really gonna help you feel better and give yourself a little sense of control in this constantly changing world. More on that later, but in the meantime, I did bring out my squash and cucumber seedlings right behind me here. So let's get to the little tip for today. Well, it is starting to rain again, so I set up an umbrella so I get my video made for you guys. But Mac does not like being out in the rain, but I made him come out with me because, you know, a dog's got to do his business. Well, here I have a yellow crookneck squash plant and a cucumber, a whole bunch of cucumbers, actually, that was started from seed on the starting seeds indoors video with Joel about three weeks ago. Now the squash plant was actually started inside about six weeks ago. We transplanted it on last week's video and it is growing by leaps and bounds. But see how I have some flowers on it? I don't want that right now because I'm still probably about two weeks away from getting it planted outdoors in the garden. So what I'm gonna do so that it all the energy goes into growing the leaves and not the flowers is I'm gonna go ahead and pinch off all of the flowers on this plant. Now let me tell you just a little bit something about the squash and the cucumber flowers. Here we have a male flower where it's just the stem there's no fruit at the bottom. Now, I don't believe I have any female flowers on this plant yet, but the male flowers always come out first. And if it was a female flower, you would see a tiny little cucumber at the bottom here. And as long as that flower gets pollinated, then it continues growing into a cucumber. But since we're not quite ready for that yet, I am just gonna go ahead and pinch off all these flowers. And that way all the energy goes into the root development of this plant, the leaf development of this plant so that when I'm ready to get it planted outside as the weather warms up it's going to be ready to roll it'll be a nice healthy plant I really don't need these flowers right now so off they go even this one that's just starting to form a bud I'm going to go ahead and pinch it off also these over here are coming off So you really want to uh, take care of your indoor plants um, if they're not ready to quite go outside yet to make sure that they continue to grow into strong healthy plants. So I've got all the flowers and flower buds pinched off my squash plant and as I'm doing this I am also inspecting the leaves for any type of damage and here I see some yellowing and browning of this leaf so I'm going to go ahead and pinch off this leaf. So it's important that you check your plants daily. And here, unfortunately, I even see a little bit of powdery mildew. See that white, whitish kind of substance here? So that is definitely not a good sign. Definitely want that leaf to go. Powdery mildew is a, um, a disease that can run rampant through your plants if it's not taken care of right away. So I'm definitely also gonna be starting a backup of this plant in case the powdery mildew continues to spread. One other thing I noticed though, is a few little aphids on the back of the leaves. You see that teeny tiny little greenish looking spot right there? That is actually a bug, that's an aphid. So I'm just gonna very carefully inspect all the undersides of the leaves and then brush off any of the little teeny tiny aphids as I see them. One thing you can do also is wash your plant down with a good steady stream of water. Here I have a, a little watering can and I can just pour it over the plant just to kind of rinse off any of the aphids, clean off the plant, and also give the plant a little bit of drink at the same time because the soil is looking just a little bit dry. I 
Might be a few more little teeny tiny bugs, but I think we've just about got all of them. Oops, here's one right here. A couple right here. See that little guy? We do not want that inside because there's no natural predators on the indoors. So once a bug infestation takes over your house, it is really hard to get rid of. Now if this continues, what I'll do is spray with some neem oil, which is a good organic uh, pesticide. A lot of people have problems with fungus gnats when growing indoors. And for that, you can set out little bottle caps of apple cider vinegar with a drop of dish soap in it. You can also spray with neem oil, but you definitely wanna keep an eye on that and prevent the problem before it gets out of hand. So I think we are all good to go on this plant. So the squash plant is all good to go. Let's take a look at the cucumber plant. But before we do that, look at those peas from the garden grocery store. So fresh, so tasty, know exactly where it came from, what's in it, and the flavor is just out of this world. So you can see here the cucumber plant, believe it or not, like I said, this was planted just about three weeks ago. Hopefully we can get out in the garden real soon. Six cucumber plants in this little six pack. And I am gonna go along here and pinch off all the flowers. And while I'm doing that, I'm gonna check for aphids as well. Cause chances are, if there is one on my squash plant, there might be a couple lingering around on my cucumber plant too. Isn't this pretty? Look at it vining out. So beautiful. And I think I might plant one even right here along the base of the trellis right there in the background. Oh, I just can't wait till the weather warms up and we can get some beautiful warm weather vegetables planted in the garden grocery store. And cucumbers are so delicious and it's so hard to find a good one in the grocery store. Growing your own helps you stay out of grocery stores. All that much more important these days, right? And I wanna encourage you to go back and watch the Spring Garden series from the beginning. These are the Market Moor cucumbers from the Spring Garden Seed Collection. The yellow crookneck squashes are in the Spring Garden Seed Collection. You can grab those over on my website along with a copy of my new book, Organic gardening for everyone, homegrown vegetables made easy. You can save $5 when you buy the seed book bundle. All the more important nowadays to know how to grow your own food, right? This one actually does, this is a good example of a female flower, a teeny tiny cucumber right on the bottom here. But I went ahead and pinched it off because they're not gonna get pollinated indoors unless I, unless I self-pollinate. And I'm not quite ready to do that right now. I wanna get them outside in a couple of weeks. So I'm checking the undersides of the leaves here. So far, I don't see any aphids. They like to hide underneath. Here's a little teeny tiny, might be a little aphid right here actually. So I'm gonna go ahead and Get that off. So we're gonna give this plant a good little rinse too and hopefully knock all those aphids off. And sometimes they like to hide down here in the little crevices and the flowers as well. Normally I don't like to water um, from the top. I like to water at the bottom of my plants. But in this case, you gotta kinda weigh the pros and the cons and wash the tiny little bugs off. And a lot of times what they do when you rinse them off is they might fall down into the soil, but they drown and they don't climb back onto your plants. Well, my cucumber, my squash plant are good to go. I'm going to take them back inside, put them back under the grow lights, and hopefully tomorrow the rain will stop and I'm going to start hardening them off. I've already started hardening off a lot of my spring vegetables, and hopefully we'll be able to get them planted outside in the garden very soon. Mac, what do you think? You ready to go inside? Well, it is starting to rain a little bit harder now, but I'm going to take a quick little walk through the garden grocery store. <laughs> And I've actually got some steaks out right here preparing for another video. We're getting kind of wet here, guys, but it's really making it nice and green and growing a lot of beautiful salad greens and all kinds of things in the garden grocery store. Lots more videos to come here, guys. Stay safe, stay healthy, plant yourself something, and enjoy your time at home with your kids. I know it might be a hardship for a lot of you, but there is hope here. Let's just keep on growing our own fresh, tasty, healthy food and keep ourselves company with each other in the process. All right, guys, we'll see you later. Have a great day. Bye-bye.